guys welcome to another vloggy vlog my name is Mpo if you're new here welcome welcome I hope you stay I hope you like it if you've been been here a regular like a returning subby thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this vlog guys I need to rush my friend just called me 30 minutes ago saying get ready we're going to an event I'm like what event uh, don't worry you'll see I don't even know where I'm going I will tell you about it when I come back if I'm allowed to shoot I will take some content I will tell you what my sister did to me that prank i will tell you all about it when i get back but i just wanted to make an intro and then let me head out i'll see you guys later i look so cute don't i this is my outfit of the day i'm just wearing jeans loafers a white oversized shirt and i'm carrying this babe and this is how i look lovely and i just appreciate the fact that you took time out of your lives to like come and listen to what we have to say and what we have to offer like okitsa said this really is a safe space um when we came up with the concept of the events we really wanted to do an industry that was underrepresented um, where we knew that there were a lot of amazing women doing amazing things but um aren't necessarily you know as visible as they should be and it was so amazing to like find the panelists and see their work um and so today is just about celebrating that you know letting them know that we do actually see them and we think they're dope and everybody should be talking about them because they are killing it um and yeah just to let you know you know we are behind her lens visuals and behind her lens visuals is a curating agency that um, spotlights films from the African diaspora um, through curated screenings, through film events like these. Um, I'm really interested in bringing people together in very multifaceted ways. Um, and yeah, that's why we're here today. Um, hi guys, as Kokito said, I'm Hope. Um, the reason why we're here today is for rhythmic revelations. Um, we saw that it's important to shine a light on female directors in the music video space. Um, we actually were very shocked when we were picking like the videos and the panelists like, oh my gosh, that video is done by a woman because we feel like um, women aren't really seen in the music video space. So we wanna unpack their journeys, um, why music videos, why filmmaking, and the challenges that they go through as female directors in the music video space. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us. We have so many more exciting events coming up. Okay, so um, I really just wanted to start off by, you know, some people might not be familiar with you guys fully or might not know how you guys came up. And I really just wanted to find out how y'all guys came up and what is your come up story quick fast yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> 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 all right, hi everyone. Hi. Um, my name is Pearl Moyo. And <laughs> uh, my name is Pearl Moyo, and I am a film producer, I'm a creative director, um, my baddest talent manager. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. And um, more than anything, yeah, I'm a full time music girlie through and through. Um, I have a, you know, um, a company called Center Communications that deals with like talent and all of that. But the reason why I'm here is because of Wayward Visuals. Um, basically, that is the reason why I'm here. I got into this particular industry is that I saw a music video on TV. Um, it was Ketila Ketila by Cuesta. Um, and then I checked out who the director was because I loved the shooting style and I was like, damn, if there's somebody that I would like to work with, um, to introduce me into this particular industry, I think it would be that guy. So what I did is that I looked for his name and I found it. <laughs> and I DM'd him actually on Twitter. He's right there. His name is Ongabe <laughs> Tsukhawane. And <laughs> I DM'd him and I'm like, I love what you're doing. Let's rock. So fast forward, we rocked. Um, and our first video was Love You Tonight by DJ Mapurisa, Edwe Farsouls, Shasha, and Gums of the Small. That was our first video, like my first video. Um, you know, that was my first music video which scored us like a summer nomination like a few months later. Woo! And I was, like, okay, I was like, hey, okay, there's definitely something here and the rest is history, I guess. Mm, That's just what I have. Can I add that the, the, that video's got, it's on like 10 mil right now on YouTube. Crazy. 10 million views. Crazy. That's insane. Crazy. We're gonna get to that, we're gonna get to that. Definitely, thank you. Okay, hello. Hello. Um, hello. Everyone, thank you for coming and allowing us to share our stories. Um, my name is Sutra. I go by the name of the Lotus Sutra. Okay, um, that's my director's name. That's like the next level, you know when you go Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I direct music videos. Um, I'm a photographer. And I have a music video mixing agency, mm -hmm. um, which is basically how I ended up doing music videos, actually. Um, I was a mixer myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I might not look like it now, <laughs> but, um, and I just saw a need for protection with the girls because it's, it's actually so crazy. And also like, why do these male directors like shoot females in that way? Like their perspective of woman is just wild for me. So I was like, I like the way I look at women. And I like how safe I make them feel on set. And go, I went into production, I didn't study it. Study it. I sort of learned on the move and got in, hustled. Um, and then I started um, creative directing music videos and then I directed music videos. I mean, I've done a few. Um, I don't know if we'll get into that now, um, later, so I won't really get into it, but um, it's my space, I love it. Hi everyone. Hello. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Nice, I'm good. Um, so my name is Linda Gouche. I'm first and foremost, I'm a filmmaker at heart. And how I got into the industry of music videos was through a good friend of mine, uh, Nigel Stockle. And so he put me on the platform of just directing my first music video. And like I said, I come from a film background, so I think number one for me was storytelling. You know, I wanted to create that. Make sure stories are told, even through music videos. And I think a lot of the times we forget about story. You know, we just want to see the good visuals. But I think my core um, idea was getting story out there and making sure that people understand it more. And as a female creative director, producer, and scriptwriter, um, I think it it is quite a challenge. Like. Um, being visible you know in such a male dominated industry and it took a lot of like stepping up to the platform and really being heard you know um to really like step into the space and just try to be great at it you know um but yeah like i uh, got into music videos directed my first uh, music video i don't know if you guys know it but um sam deep 
Yes. And Baba Alwaim. Yeah. yeah, that was my first one. And then from there, I did quite a few more producing, writing, and some directing. We are here for you, but if you're going to get into the space and make everybody else's here for you uncomfortable, it becomes so bad. So now I'm caught, I'm caught in between because now I have to be professional and also I'm a human being. I'm pissed right now. Yeah. Like I'm pissed. You can't get onto my set and you're not greeting everybody. You're not talking to people. Yeah. You're not talking to the makeup artist. You're not talking to the stylist. Yeah. Not. So now I'm pissed. But also at the same time, I need to be professional. Yeah. You know, I need to just eliminate everything else that's happening. I need to just focus on the end goal for us to wrap up. Because <laughs> at, at that point, it's no longer about enjoying the music video, unfortunately. Because we can all act tough and superwoman, but guys, we're human beings, right? And if people are going to come into your space and they're going to make everyone else uncomfortable, trust me, it's going to be a horrendous shoot. Yeah. You know, I, I, that shoot was so bad. Nobody was happy. And just so you know, the music video never came out. <laughs> because it was, it was that bad. Yeah. So it's basically, I think, it's basically just, it's just understanding that People are different. Some yeah. people are gonna come weird and whatever, but we still need to keep it together. And it's Coming tough because it comes. So for me, it was like yeah. my worst experience actually came from a woman. Yeah. My first ever worst experience actually came from a woman. And, and females, it's so crazy because I'm I'm glad that we're actually talking about this because as females, we need to stand together. You know, Definitely. we need to work together. I actually got back at like past seven and it's I had to wait for a load shedding because the lighting was very tricky you know um the event I went to was really nice it was an event about female creatives um it was about female creatives um and the music industry directors producers um, music videos all of that so it was a really nice event and i was telling baby that i'm so glad that he invited me because i really had a good time i really had a good time like i said earlier like i said earlier i'll tell you guys about the prank <laughs> i think i i'm over it now like i'm over being pissed and whatever i think more than being pissed like i was in disbelief i was just like no man it must be a dream or my uncle is literally just gonna knock and be like guys come on we running late but it was real <laughs> but i couldn't believe it i'm just like how did she pull this off without me like having a slight idea or suspicion rather like how did it happen where i had zero suspicion that i need to take my makeup off and take a shower because i'm really cold but um i'm gonna post the the what are you doing i'm gonna post the prank thingy now because i'm over it now okay okay i'm gonna post it now i'm sure by now you would have you would have seen what went down but like i think i believed it because she was also playing part like she was playing the part ah uh, stop it did you no don't bite me i think i believe because she was also playing the part forget guys she made me do the bed usually this is my sister knowing my sister and like because i thought while i was taking a shower she was sleeping because that is typical of her that's why i asked her why do you want to show off it's because you want to sleep because that's what she does you know so i'm thinking you're the one is sleeping and whatnot can't think baby girl is all dressed up i got out there i'm like Eva, yo, I, 
maybe she she will sleep in the car <laughs> can't i was like did you make me pack <laughs> guys we were trying she's like tomorrow you're gonna wear i'm like i don't know and i asked her she's like no i'm gonna wear this black dress she put the dress on she even was like asking me which heels would go with the shoes and then uh and then she wore these other heels i'm like no those are not gonna work and i was like girl don't do that to yourself and then i remember i i took a dress of hers and i was like ah i'm glad it fits so i have i literally have three options because i had her dress which was if it's hot and then i had this other black dress and i was like okay let me wear this it's it's not a blazer it's like a cardigan in case it's cold but it's not like too cold for a coat guys <laughs> and she was like oh yeah that'll work that'll work no try it on let's see guys can i tell you she didn't shower ne? she went to the bathroom floor and just so i can see that someone was in here showering this theme, there was theme everywhere. She literally told me that she had to wet her gloves, her, her shower gloves, just so, just in case. And I mean, I wouldn't, like, why would I do that? I'm, I'm half asleep anyway. But she did, like, she, she took it so seriously. <laughs> she took it so seriously. And she was telling me that it's unfortunate that there was low shedding because she would have made us make breakfast. Imagine eating at half past three in the morning. And I think I probably would have because I didn't eat the previous night. And I was just like, did you have this all planned out? Like you thought about this, you thought it through. Anyway, I'm over it now. Like I'm finding it funny because I'm just like, did you went through all this effort? <laughs> but I told him to sleep with one eye, one eye open. I don't know until when, because I'm still not happy. <laughs> I'm like, dude, it like, three bruh like 3 a.m and can i tell you guys like i struggle to fall asleep like as it stands i struggle to fall asleep do you know so after i took a shower and obviously she said it was a prank or whatever i was literally in bed like obviously because i was shocked at what just happened and, and i couldn't sleep i could not sleep i remember the last time i remember checking the time it was 10 to 6 and then maybe I probably fell asleep shortly after that, you know, shortly after that. And at eight, I was up, you know, but I'm still tired. So I'm going to um, do it now. I'm going to take off my makeup, take a shower and then eat. I got something from lunch members. So at least no cooking involved because I don't have the energy. She did not even sleep because it was a stupid prank so at least i've got that uh on lock and i'm going to sleep because i'm really tired i've had a good day i've had a good day <laughs> i haven't had makeup on in so long and like that yeah, in so long you look pretty and like go out and mingle with people and whatnot that felt really nice i'm i'm very shy and i i hardly talk to other people <laughs> like not that i don't talk to them on purpose but i'm just i'm just i'm just very shy and i'm very introverted so yeah so going out was very good <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed the prank but like i wasn't a happy hun i was not a happy hun at all but yeah let me go i'm just gonna show you quickly how i take off my makeup and then i'm gonna shower eat and go to bed i'll check you guys did you pay oh baby I wanna go shower now. I want to go shower. I usually go in with tissue oil or any oil. Wow. And then I'm just gonna wet my face with warm water and then I'm gonna go in with my what do you call this? With this the face cream wash thing. Cool. So now I put the face wash thingy on this and then I'm gonna come clean. 
Okay, it's too much water here because now it's dripping everywhere. I got these from Mr. Price. I was scared to wear makeup because I'm on treatment and stuff, so I was like, oh, I don't know, but I just put a little bit. So I'm just gonna rinse it off and then we should be done diggity. And just like that, we are done. I washed this. Literally just washed it with soap and it's clean. Um, because I'm jumping into the shower, I'm just gonna wash my face again with the clear soap so that I can do my nighttime routine. And that is literally it. That is easy, 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 easy. Lost in the night, can't get caught up. Really doing everything I ever thought of. Band started low, then we ran them all up. When she went to go, then it's when she called us. Yeah, she know better than to play with my time. She got good brain, it can play with your mind. I ain't got time, cause I stay on the grind. Sometimes this week take the pain away for a couple of days. Sometimes I ain't got no direction, I feel like I'm stuck in a maze. Sometimes they be thinking it's classic, but I know it's really a phase. If you don't believe me, then why don't you just wait a couple of days? Yeah, we gon' be up in a couple of days. We gon' be on in a couple of days. Promise, just give it a couple of days, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, we gon' be up in a couple of days. We gon' be on in a couple of days. Promise, just give it a couple of days, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I just need a couple of days to take this pain away. Okay, okay. Back to your bed, just give me a couple of days. Give me a couple of days and a bit of your time. You say that you're all for me, but I'm all on your mind. I could be off by you, but I'm in a new ride. We're all at a face, and when you put me through, and how I was so stupid that I told you that I wouldn't leave you behind. Leave me behind like I did back then, you know that. One, two, three, four times, you're gonna do that. Every time I leave me, you call me, you want me right back But I can't do that, no I got a few more things that I wanna say You want my bed, on my head, what's up, fine with me? I wanna get out of my head right away I gotta get some fucking therapy For you For you Yeah, we gon' be up in a couple of days We gon' be on in a couple of days Promise, just give it a couple of days, okay? We gon' be up in a couple of days. We gon' be on in a couple of days. Promise, just give it a couple of days, okay? Okay, 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 okay. I just need a couple of days to take this pain away. Okay, 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 okay. I'ma get back to your base. Just give me a couple of days.
days dimelang 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 um i haven't done an unboxing in a minute <laughs> because times are tough you know times are tough but anyway <laughs> but anyway i have a little unboxing to do let me get scissors or a knife a little unboxing to do i got some goodies from take a lot and somewhere else <laughs> you'll see where someone else is when i open it so i'm going to start with the no let me start with the big box so as you would have seen or heard me in my previous or the two previous vlogs i was just complaining about how like my weight how i'm unhappy and 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 i decided to join the ask me how family <laughs> this is the ask me how this is the sign here yeah i've joined the ask me how herbal life family um i just want to give it a try because honestly like i don't know what to do um i'm not as consistent with working out but obviously i'm trying and also eating healthy so i'm hoping this is going to be a boost and i want to be part of the ask me how gang you know so let's quickly open this i'm still working so it's quiet now so I can do this quickly and show you what I've got and obviously I mean I'm hoping that it's gonna help me and I'm gonna see um, progress so we have the Herbalife shake mix um, it's banana cream flavored uh, not really a fan of banana but what can you say and then we have the instant herbal beverage with tea extract and lastly we have the multi fiber um this is apple flavored and this is peach flavored so these are the three things um from herbal life i for these three i paid 800 and something i'll i'll try and look for i'll check on my phone how much i paid for it but that's what we got here and then my next package is take a lot take a lot take a lot take a lot so let's see is it my phone i was about to say it stopped recording if it's mine I've been on my case to buy this thing so i i bought this oxy ultra wash for white clothes i think i haven't used it before she has um and she was like you need to get it it's the best so i got it <laughs> that's this and then sorry Gigi babe oh i got <laughs> okay so like i'm not a reader right i don't i don't read much i'd rather listen to like a podcast or something but i saw this and i was like i need to get my hands on this so that's what i did so i got two books um i got the small one it's called the prayer that changes everything it's a book of prayers this is it um let's see okay just gonna see what it's giving okay so like for example here so it gives you a scripture it tells you a little like the wait hold on so there's like a prayer with scripture references and then the like quote i don't want to say of the day but like on the specific page is from psalm 57 verse 11 and then this is where i'll put my own prayer notes um so i think it's going to be very helpful because i've been struggling a lot lately with like praying and i forget and then you know so i think this is going to be very very helpful so i got this um i'll try and find the amount but it was very cheap 
and then i got this i saw this on tiktok <laughs> i mean i never know we need it like tiktok is very helpful <laughs> i got this from tiktok and i loved it this is a book by dudu zile nolin nguenya um the title is things i never said to myself so this is what it looks like and this is dudu right excuse my nails um so i think this book is basically like a letter to herself about the things that she never told herself so it's like a a reflection type of book i think um let's see okay this is page 14 it says you deserve to be loved unapologetically consistently without asking for it don't be giving out too much don't hold it in too much either when it's real you will know without having to give in more than what you should um so yeah there is i think i'm gonna love this book um and then there's forgiving yourself like there's literally a lot and it's quotes from her you know um yeah okay this is hold on i'm just i just saw this now um it says dear self this is a commitment i'm making to you to stop practicing self-sabotage because there's more to you than that i commit to doing better for you and i will not indulge in what isn't contributing to your growth throughout this journey may you be self-resilient kind strong and confident may you also allow yourself to be sensitive helpless confused and anxious i feel like this book is talking about or is talking to a lot of us um what you probably went through or going through so i think this is a good purchase um i'm really really happy so yeah guys that's my mini unboxing and yeah i just thought i should share it with you guys and yeah continue enjoying the vlog i will see you soon And laughing by I'm cold as an ice cream It sounds like a sudden I according to the season I got a million reasons to smile Apparently I'm chilling But actually I'm petrified Keep jumping ladies keep going I know your calves are burning your shoulders are burning but you got this So this is how I make my couscous um, so I just pour it in a container and then because of flavor I usually use chicken stock I don't put the full cube I just put half of it and then um, I put in some parsley and I add the same amount of hot water uh, so the same amount as the couscous grains that's what I do stir it up a bit and then I, I will cover it and i'll cover it and leave it for about three to five minutes once it is done i will separate the grains with a fork until it's nice and fluffy um and then for more taste i would um go in with like soy sauce um just a little bit just for flavor and i mix it up again and that is it. it tasted so nice no need to add salt because i added the chicken stock cube which has salt enjoy
Listen to 